Checking your news headlines, police have identified a 25 year old woman shot and killed in North Nashville this past weekend. Metro police say Alanche Williams was fatally shot in an apartment on Sunday. They're working to determine if a three year old fired the weapon which belonged to Williams. Now, last Monday in Cheatham County, deputies were also called to investigate after officials say a three year old was accidentally shot and killed. News 2's Nikki McGee has more on a pediatrician working the front lines trying to prevent rising child gun deaths. Two gun deaths in the matter of a week, both involving young children and both called accidental by investigators. Pediatrician Kelsey Gatineau at Monroe Carl Jr. Children's Hospital says these incidents paint a bigger picture of what's happening in Tennessee. 2023 saw the highest number of unintentional shootings by children that since the data has been collected. So we know that this this is something that's happening over and over and over again. According to Every Town for Gun Safety in 2023, there were at least 24 unintentional shootings by children, leading to six deaths and 18 injuries. In Tennessee, we had the third highest number of those shootings by children. We know that seven out of 10 times those tragedies are occurring in the home. Dr. Gassinaw is working to fight the problem from the front lines, talking to parents about safe storage and encouraging them to ask about firearms wherever their children may be. Having firearms locked, unloaded and separate from ammunition can help prevent all of these injuries and fatalities from occurring. Since January, Gastonall says the Department of Safety and Homeland Security has passed out more than 70,000 free gun locks. And it's a resource she says parents can find by asking their doctor or local law enforcement. Kids as young as three years old can, in fact, pull the trigger. And when they're younger, sometimes that means that they might be pulling it on themselves, but they also might be pulling it on someone else unintentionally. And so it's upon us as the adults to really understand how we can help keep them safe. Nikki McGee, News 2.